without impropriety, for your brain is on fire, the bedclothes conspire of usual slumber to plunder you. First your counterpane goes and uncovers your toes, then your sheet slips demurely from under you. Say who to you, who who to you, and that's what I would say. And you dream you are crossing the channel and tossing about in a steamer from marriage, which is something between a large bathing machine and a very small second-class carriage. I endeavor to correct 
of all and little weaknesses, I open people's eyes. And little plans to solve the self-profession I devise. I love my fellow creatures, I do all the good I can. Yet everybody says I'm such a disagreeable man, and I can't think why. Sing, hey, the jolly chicks of any company. Exceedingly polite, and I think it only right to return the compliment. Oh, isn't your life extremely flattering? Tell me what you're to come last. Bad language or abuse, I never, never use whatever the emergency. Though bother it, I may occasionally say, I never use a big, big D. I know the croaking chorus from the frogs of Aristophanes. Then I can hum a few of which I've heard the music still more, and whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense, pinafore. And whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense, pinafore. And whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense, pinafore. And whistle all the airs from that infernal nonsense, pinafore. And, and so can his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And so can his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. And so can his sisters and his cousins and his aunts. Rapture, rapture, when the soldier reads 